You're looking at a medical first, a revolutionary transplant of a pig's heart into a person. We didn't know what the outcome might be, but it wasn't going to be worse than traditional therapy. 57-year-old David Bennett had no other option. Diagnosed with terminal heart disease, he was too sick to be eligible for a human donation. With less than six months to live, doctors in Baltimore offered him a medical leap of faith. It was very difficult for him to make this decision, but at the end of the day, this was his best hope of getting out of the hospital and having somewhat of a normal quality of life. The transplant involved a heart from a genetically modified pig with some of its own genes deleted and human genes added to reduce the risk of rejection. We wouldn't give him a worse outcome. And we had a chance perhaps of uh, striking the good one. He himself said, I want to live and if I don't, you'll learn something. Three days after surgery, the heart is still beating. Bennett is alive. Transplantation has always uh, uh, been conducted in the context of an organ shortage. Dr. David Clausen works with UNOS, which coordinates organ sharing in the U.S. If proven, xenotransplantation could ease the critical shortage of donors. It is an important step, uh, but it still is only a first step, and there will be you know, uh, a long journey ahead you know, to see this through. Animal to human transplants have been tried before. Chimpanzee kidneys, a baboon heart, none successful for more than a few months. Pig organs show more promise. Heart valves from pigs are already widely used. In fact, Bennett received one of those more than a decade before his heart transplant. He realizes um, the magnitude of what was done, um, and he re realizes the importance of it. One man's decision to risk it all has offered hope to thousands that life-saving transplants might one day not involve a life-or-death wait. Jackson Prosco, Global News, Washington.